All right, today's video, is that it? Today's video is gonna be a taste test of Baby Micro and then the Dwarf Bendigo Moon. So uh, we'll start with Baby Micro. So I will throw a picture up of this plant. It is very baby. It is like the tiniest plant I've ever seen. It does have quite a bit of fruit for something so small on it. They say it grows up to three inches and it is the smallest, I think, of all the micros, I'm pretty sure. It grows a pretty red cherry, and they say you can even grow this one in a half gallon container, so it's a, for very, you know, if you have very small, limited space, you could grow it in a, you know, kitchen window or something. Can you do that? Let's see, I'll show you how big it is. It's a, a little tiny cherry tomato. There's an even smaller one here. Who's gonna get the small one? I've got my daughter okay. and her boyfriend. This is Jay, this is Tyler. They're gonna do the taste test with me today. You want the baby one? I'll take the baby one. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh. So this is a stabilized micro. I had someone ask once in the comments if you could save seeds from micros. This one's stabilized. There are ones that are F1 hybrids that if you save seeds, you might not get the same plant the next time. But these baby micro, you can save seeds from. All right, let's taste it. Wow. Ooh. Mine had a lot of flavor. Mm, no. Not, not a lot for me. It was tangy. It was like. Yeah, tangy. Very tangy. Um, Less than enough juice. Yours was. Yours, I got the biggest one. Well, I, I got this tiny. one. If you were to rank that one, baby, one out of 10, 10 being really good, one not so good, what would you give it? I mean, he said like tomato. So, <laughs> 10? <laughs> Wouldn't like that be like average, like five? Okay, five. Four. I, I see. I can talk. I can put everything into perspective. Like the plant itself is so small. It does have a good amount of fruit, but it doesn't have like a lot. And they take forever. Like I don't know if you haven't ever grown micros before. They these tomatoes, like the plant's so small, you would think that they would ripen quickly. They don't. They take forever to ripen. I feel like I'm gonna be waiting for these to ripen before some of my huge slicers are ripe. Like I, they just, the anticipation of them is a bummer. Um, so there's that. I don't know, I probably, the flavor was good. I did like the flavor, but I'm gonna give it a six. Right. Maybe maybe even a five, it's, it's okay. But the novelty of it, it being so cute, it's like this big. If that you could grow like 30 of them really easily and just have like a, a row of baby micros in like a garden pot i don't know all right let's go to the next one the next one is bendigo moon so this one is a dwarf i'm gonna throw up a clip right here of where you can get the seeds you can get the seeds from the victory seed company which is kind of neat their website tells you about all of the different kinds of how that where they like um what do i want to say where they did the dwarf tomato project. I didn't interrupt you. You can you keep not going. be weird. What do you mean? The dwarf tomato project has a bunch of different groupings. This one is in the grouping of the snowy family. So I will throw out they have like sneezy family. Uh, it's like the like the seven dwarfs but it's like more than you get it like the dwarf tomato project they're dwarf tomatoes so they're smaller type plants but then they named them in different groups out it, it it's just interesting if you go on that website and you like tomatoes you'll get kind of uh, you'll fall into a, a, a hole and start looking at that bendigo moon uh was i guess created by the guy named greg moeller this is said to be uh oval to ivory which it is um and pale ivory to pale yellow cherry and it is cherry uh, so and my plant is about four feet tall i'll throw in a clip of what my plant looks like this was one of the ones i planted back at the end of october and the plant looked like death uh about six or seven weeks ago i stuck it in my greenhouse and i revived it and it's covered in tomatoes now so yay me i saved that poor plant from destruction and this one was introduced in 2018 so okay are we ready to mm -hmm. eat it I'm gonna pop both of them out. Oh, I should, let me cut it in half and show what the inside looks like. Give me a second. I didn't do that. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready to bite. The anticipation is killing me. Here's what the stem looks like. Mm. Let me cut this in half in two different ways. 
cut it this way, and then I'll cut it this way. So there's what that looks like there. It looks like it's got, you know, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, ready? I like that one a lot more. I actually liked Baby more. Mm. But this was good too. Maybe it's just because the one that I had was so tiny from the last one. Maybe. But this was this was nice. Yeah, milder flavored. I think not taste the same. Not incredibly juicy, and the skin I don't think was too tough. Mm -hmm. Would you say anything about it, Tyler? It was yummy. Does anyone else think that all the tomatoes taste the same? They do not either. taste the same. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. These did taste pretty similar, but I have to say Bendigo Moon was um, milder flavored. I would give it, because the plant like was revived from death and it's gorgeous and has so many tomatoes on it, I would give this one, and the flavor was good, I'd give this one a seven. 7.5. Mm. Seven. All right, that is Bendigo Moon and uh, Baby Micro. Yes, we're out. Thank you. To enjoy your day. To enjoy your day.